Alright, call it weird, but I think um, magnets might be helping with uh, cooking of my food. Just uh, I just just this morning, I, I I expected to have to cook my my corn, my polenta, and I don't. It's perfectly fine to eat. Just soaking in hot water overnight with uh, my ceramic magnets uh, can kind of be seen. It's it's really dark out here. Uh, these tiny ceramic magnets. You know, uh, I, I've uh, soaked polenta in the past, um, and it's always come out hard. Okay, I soaked it in hot water, and it's always just felt too hard to chew, and I've had to further cook it. Um, and even when I used a single ceramic magnet, but I doubled up the magnets. And now it's actually softening. It's strange. What what really got my attention about the, using the magnets is that I, I took the magnets out. I get annoyed by them sometimes uh, because they just you know they, you you put them in with your food and you gotta like dig them out of your food and all that. It's it's quite a hassle because they're not designed to be put in your food. Um, I took them out and then I noticed my my soup yesterday. With the barley, just never, never came to it. Never like fully got soft. Like, what's the problem with that? Um, but and before, I, I at least had one ceramic magnet in there, and it was at least getting um, soft, and the the, the barley was bur bursting. Okay, it has to burst to be fully cooked, and. And it seems like the magnet might be a factor, but you have to consider other factors, okay? It's getting colder out here. Maybe the heat is not keeping as well, although it's it seems like uh, um, the, the the heat is is maintaining some consistency. I've been I've been covering my my thermos, my Stanley thermos here, um, kind of you seen. And um, to to preserve the heat, and I, I cover it around the top more. So I'm I'm working a little harder on on trying to preserve heat. But still, it seems like the biggest factor is the magnet power. And the more magnets you use, the better. All right, I've always you know the reason I've been using magnets is because I've always believed for the past <laughs> eight nine years. Ever since I found out that mag well, yeah, ever since magnets help cure my my uh, my physical ailments, particularly my acid reflux, I've I've been working on trying to incorporate them into my life more, and I've been putting them in my water for quite a while, and so I've always I've had a magnet, a ceramic magnet in this in this Stanley thermos, um, just for water alone. But as it's getting colder out, I need to to find better ways to cook. So I'm using the the thermal cooking methods, um, and yeah, the magnet happens to be in there. And I I was attributing just the success of of getting cooked like foods that are actually cooked. When I go to get water, hot water from the coffee maker at the gas stations, you know, it's like 200 degree water, and I've I've been successful with cooking uh, various grains, and um, <clears throat> I, I never I never really gave the magnet much thought until I took the magnet out, and then all of a sudden I'm like, you know, the food is not is not uh, thoroughly soaking, it's not thoroughly cooking. I actually I actually have to ex add extra heat to it, and so now I think maybe the magnets are a factor. Um, and they don't, the magnets, these are ceramic magnets, they don't seem to be degrading. Heat is supposed to degrade them, but 200 degrees, I don't think that's that's enough to degrade them really fast. And they're cheap anyway, I can replace them. But, uh, yeah, the next step is to, to see if, if quartz can is, is supposed to, could help out too.